Founded in 1925 as a nine-hole course, the original clubhouse is still in use today, but now as a swing analysis and club fitting studio by golf director Morris and his two fellow PGA professionals. The par 4 first is deceptively long due to the gradual upward slope all the way to the green. The second shot requires precision too, as the green is well guarded by two bunkers either side. A good starting hole. The par 5 fifth shows its teeth from the tee as it requires a long straight drive uphill where, unless you are a very long driver, you face a blind second shot. The second shot must keep left, but with dangers lurking either side as the fairway narrows between trees and a small water hazard. Soft dog leg to the right to a green tightly guarded by bunkers either side. The par 5 sevenths, known as the shed hole, has an intimidating tee shot where you have to miss the huge oak tree on the left if you are to create a good angle for your second shot. However, the young and brave will take on the big tree from the tee, which offers the chance to reach the green in two. The approach to this green must favour the left side of the green, which is set at an angle and guarded by bunkers. According to the legendary golf journalist and commentator Henry Longhurst, the 11th is the finest par 3 in Bedfordshire. The tee shot is via a shoot between tall conifers, plunges 55 feet downhill to a small well-guarded green with devilish slopes. No friendly gimmies on this hole. The finishing hole, the 18th, is challenging and a score of par is worthy of celebration. The drive requires precision as it must navigate between a shoot of trees either side and a threatening gully to the right. Your second shot demands accuracy and good club selection as you aim for a well-guarded double-tier green. Once on the green, your putting stroke will be put to the test too, on the multi-level green. But once you have sunk your putt, you can look forward to a glass of wine on the balcony that overlooks this green. The new balcony looks out on the 18th green and the 10th tee and fairway and across to the first fairway. Members and guests can relax whilst watching golfers finish their rounds, trying to avoid a three-putt on 18. A great finish to your round of golf. Expanded over the last 90 years to a full 18 holes, the course is located on the outskirts of Leighton Buzzers, close to Rushmore Country Park and the village of Heath and Reach. Set in a blend of tree-lined parkland with gorse and heathers adding to its appeal. Buzzards and red kites patrol the skies above the course. Its modern clubhouse offers excellent facilities for members to enjoy post-golf drinks and meals, social activities and dedicated events.